We have a four-round lightweight bout for you. Jason Doucette and Miguel Cotto from the Frank Irwin Center. And he is from Austin, Texas. Cotto to your left and Doucette to your right. Miguel Cotto, outstanding Olympic prospect from Puerto Rico. 139 pounds, making his professional debut. And he'll be taking on Jason Doucette from Louisiana. Doucette arrived here in Austin at 1 a.m. this morning. They made him weigh in at 1.30. They made him weigh in again at 9 a.m. And they made him weigh in again at 11 a.m. So he's weighed in three times, and we can confirm oh, he's 135 pounds. In other words, he was treated. All right, guys, we're in the way he should have been treated, treated, but he was treated like a Protect real opponent. Touch him up. Brought in Let's do it. Touch to him. make somebody who's a real good prospect look good. We don't know that's going to happen yet, but that's how he was treated. Cotto is trained by his uncle, Evangelista Cotto, 95 and 23 as an amateur. And the other thing about Doucette, as we begin round number one, he told our own Saul Avilar about two hours ago. He split a joint in his left arm back in 1996. In his right elbow, actually. He has three screws in his right arm. I'd say one thing. The fight is only 10 seconds old. But nobody can say that Doucette did not come out here to try because he's a live opponent right now. I don't know what's going to happen 10 seconds from now, but he's a live opponent, and he looks like he knows what he's doing. Well, he said he was training to fight in Mississippi in March. He had a 33-14 and 14 record as an amateur. Won a couple of Louisiana Golden Gloves titles. Started boxing at the age of eight. Sometimes people say, and it's hard to trace that experience, that they had that experience and they really didn't have it. But in this case, he said has been in the ring before. He knows what he's doing. Toto started things off with a nice combination to the body. Then he went up to the top. Good hook to the body by Toto. Well, Cotto sees that he has a tall man with a thin body. So he knows where to go and then switch it to the head. Four, Down five, goes Doucette in his pro six, debut. Seven. In Cotto's pro eight. debut. Jerry McKenzie okay. with the count. Okay. Go. Look how calm Cotto is after scoring that knockdown. That's all those amateur fights. Having fought in top amateur tournaments like the Olympics. And he's fighting a guy who's making his pro debut as well. Let's well, tell you, we had some reservations when we heard about the opponent switch and Doucette's story of how he got here and the fact that they kept waking him up, making him weigh in. But as you mentioned, he obviously has been in the ring before, but right now he's just being outclassed. Oh, yeah. He eats the left hand. This fight's not going to last too much longer because Cotto is a technically sound guy. Oh, what a left hand that sends down Doucette. See how he got his distance before he let that left hook go? He stepped in, made sure those feet were there, and then he let that punch go. And now the referee's going to stop it. Doucette got up quickly, but the referee, Jerry McKenzie, did the right thing. He asked him if he was okay, if he wanted to continue, and Doucette realized the situation. 2-12 of round number one. So Miguel Cotto, with a nice debut as a pro, against Jason Doucette in his pro debut. You know what I like? It's not what Cotto did. It's how he did it. He did it with good form, technically real sound, went to the body first, then set up the head, and the last punch, was he over anxious when he had his guy on the, on the run? No, he stepped to his guy and threw that punch at the right distance. The way he did it, not what he did. That's what counts. Cotto landed 22 of 59 punches in that round. Doucette's 2 of 31. Let's take a look, Ted. Take a look at the last knockdown. Left hand. Right on the button. Doucette got up. Plenty of time. But that was the second time that he was down. Look at the way Cotto was set. His feet were under him. He was real strong with his legs. And his distance was perfect. He was not doing what some young guys will do. Reach in. He stepped to his man. Hey, that's all that amateur experience. So Miguel Cotto in his pro debut gets the stoppage of Jason Doucette in his professional debut. The official time, 2-12 of the first round.